Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um doing a little bit of a, a soft spoken video tonight. Um this is just kind of you know, kinda of like my last video. Random ramblings and talking and stuff. Um uh, one thing I wanna do is show off my VHS collection. Uh it's it, it's just getting started, so it's I only have a few VHS's, but still. So I will start with um, this one. Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius movie. Uh, this one is in the plastic clamshell case. Uh, these cases kind of started picking up popularity for VHS tapes in the late uh, 90s to early 2000s, kind of towards the end of the VHS lifespan. Um, this is the only one, or the only VHS tape I have in a clamshell case. Um, I'm sure at some point I'll probably end up with some more. But, yellow clamshell case with, uh, the paper in it, and then you've got the tape of course so uh that's cool got the spool things you know stick a your finger or your expo marker in there and twist it to rewind it or whatever by hand i really want to get a um uh one of those like separate like rewinding uh devices because my 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 actual player is an auto rewind, so when it reaches the end of a tape, then the tape will automatically rewind and then it will push it out. But, you know, sometimes when I'm watching a movie, I don't want to sit through the credits and everything. If I'm doing like a movie marathon, so then I can just take it out during the credits and put it in the rewinder and then pop the next tape in. Um, next is a double tape set. This is my only double tape set uh, right now, and it is Saving Private Ryan. Um, it is the special limited edition. I find that interesting because it's not just a special edition or just the limited edition, it's the special limited edition. Um, so it includes, uh, you can see here, it says, Feature. I don't know if you can see that, but it says feature. And then you have this tape. Oh, this tape, uh, which is the bonus features, um, which is just kind of like behind the scenes stuff and everything. Um, I'd never seen the movie before. I'm really into war movies and stuff, uh, especially World War II. Love World War II. I love military history in general, but World War II is one of my favorite eras. And this is one of the most, like, accurate World War II movies out there. Um, especially made within, like, the last 20, 30 years. Uh, because, you know, over 30 years ago, World War II films really weren't that great or, like, historically accurate. And Saving Private Ryan was kind of, like, the first, like, big one uh, that really captivated the, uh, the genre. Um, and... So, I I hadn't seen it yet, and so when I was in Goodwill looking for VHS tapes and saw it, and it was in good condition, I was like, alright, I'll pick that up. Uh, next on the pile here, we have Red Fury. Um, I have not watched this one yet. Well, I mean, I've seen the movie, I just haven't watched the, the tape yet. Um... The movie itself is really good. I've watched it before. Um, it reminds me kind of like Spirit. Uh, I don't know exactly when this released. Let's see if it says here. Uh, it doesn't appear to. Um, I think this was like from the 70s, 60s or 70s. Um, and it's a really good movie. Um, I watched it a bunch on DVD. And again, it was one of those... Uh, ones where I saw it and I was like I know it's a good movie so I I figured I'd pick it up for you know 50 cents at Goodwill for 
my VHS collection. Um, next, we'll go to the one I actually watched last night, and that is Wayne's World. Um, so, I picked this tape up the same time I picked up Saving Private Ryan and Red Fury. Um, I, I, I hadn't seen it yet, and I figured, you know, well classic you know classic 80s movie there are references in it all the time uh that people like reference and stuff and so i was like uh i may as well pick it up and watch it and i finally i've had this tape for about three months now and i finally just watched it last night um at first it was really dumb but like eventually i kind of went with it and it was a a decent movie um the case itself was not in great condition, as you can see. There's some some creases on the back, and the top's pretty pretty uh, salty. Um, but the tape itself is in in good condition, and I actually like this. This is one of my favorite tapes in my collection because it's it's so different. Um, you can see these. It's got these like lines and stuff. This pattern here. Um, and it's different from from the rest where it's more of this like checkered pattern uh and so most of my tapes are like this they're just more like checkered texturized pattern whereas we've got these lines on wayne's world um and so for that reason and it's and it's got a uh, spine sticker i love movies with spine stickers i don't know why so that's um one of my favorites in my collection um, simply for, as far as, like, the physicality of the tape, not so much, like, film-wise. Um, I guess we'll go to this one next, uh, because this one was my favorite movie for a long time when I was younger, because it was on TV all the time, and it's Tom Hanks, you know, who doesn't love Tom Hanks, uh, Forrest Gump. This one, I actually did not get from goodwill surprisingly i have three tapes i didn't get from goodwill um because i got them from my grandparents when my grandparents cleaned out their house and they had a shit ton of vhs tapes and um this is one of them actually i got this one years and years ago but never watched it on vhs because i already you know it was on tv all the time um so yeah one movie they had that in their VHS stuff that I wish I had grabbed but didn't was Flubber. They had, so when I was little, they had this these big shelves um, down in their living room just full of VHS tapes. And we would watch them all the time. And Flubber was one of those ones that was like, you know, reoccurring or you would always watch. Um, and I, I wish I would grabbed it before they sold everything, but I didn't. And I regret it. And that one was in a clamshell case as well. Um, next is these next two are both from ones that I got from my grandparents. Uh, next is the thin red line. Uh, it's, um, it's, I'm surprised by the cast. Uh, the cast has a lot of like big actors in it. You've got George Clooney, Sean Penn, Nick Nolte, uh, Woody Harrelson, um, and uh, a couple others um so like a, a surprising cast in it uh and it's a world war ii film it's the u.s army in the pacific so fighting the japanese um you know there aren't a lot of movies that follow the u.s army in the pacific most films focus on the marine corps in the pacific uh because most fighting in the pacific was the marine corps um but the army was there too um, I tried watching this movie and just gave up on it. It was uh, very confusing and all over the place. And so I just gave up on watching it. But I keep it in my uh, um, in my collection. Um, next, we have uh, a Tom Cruise film. Born on the 4th of July. Um, Vietnam film. I'm really into the Vietnam War again military history um and born on 
on the 4th of July is one of those movies that isn't necessarily good or historically accurate. Um, it's, it's more so about the human mind and the things the human mind does. And it's just put behind the setting of the Vietnam War, kind of like a uh, full metal jacket. Um, this one was actually brand new, still in the shrink wrap when I got it. Uh, and I took it out to watch it and uh, just kind of got bored of watching it. Again, one of those movies that just didn't really catch me, but I keep it in my collection. Um, next is uh, E.T. Um, this one, not the best, the uh, case was not in the best condition, but still, still decent condition, you know, got a rip there and stuff. Um, this is another one of my, as far as the physicality of the tape, this is another one of my favorites. Um, again, because it has the lines instead of the checker, and you'll notice that the reels for the film, as well as the film cover, um, are green. So I thought that was really cool, and I like that. And, of course, um, uh, spine sticker and actually I want to go back and look at Wayne's world here let's see I want, I want to see Okay, never mind. That was sorry. I um as far as the physicality of the tape, uh er, so box not great condition. The tape has this sticker residue there. Um but other than that, you know, it's still a cool cool one to have in the collection. Um next, uh I haven't watched the tape for that yet. Obviously E. T. being a, a classic movie, I've seen the movie. I just haven't watched the tape for it, so I don't know what condition the tape is. Because with VHS tapes, um, 8 tracks, cassettes, um, anything that's on a magnetic sh uh, sh strip of tape um, like that, the, the th it loses its magnetism over time uh, and it breaks uh, the tape will kind of degrade and break down so it loses certain qualities over time but anyways um next another classic film dirty dancing and i was excited this was my, when i started shopping at goodwill for um uh what's it called vhs tapes this was one of my uh first ones that i bought um actually the, the next, this one, and then the two after it are the first ones I bought. Um, the case, really good condition. Got some, you know, a little bit of folding at the, uh, at the edges and stuff. Um, and there's this kind of rip up here. But aside from that, the, the case is in amazing condition. And the whole time through this video, you're probably thinking, why does the condition matter? It comes from a collector's standpoint and like putting this stuff on display. When I put it on display, I want it to look good. I want it to look nice. Um, the closer to new as possible, um, the better. Um, but, uh, as far as the tape, not, you know, not too much to write about. You got this sticker. It's in good condition. Um, yeah, I, I have watched the tape for this one. Um, and the the coloring is really weird. It's like this weird orange saturation over it, and it's just like really, I um, you know, like the Miami Vice type like backgrounds with like the sunset and the like '80s style graphics and stuff. That's what it looks like. It's like a Miami Vice background with the sunset and everything that's like what i mean when i say it's got an orange saturation over it um yeah so but other than that you know good quality uh next 
another Tom Hanks one. I'm a big fan of Tom Hanks as an actor. He's one of my favorite actors. Um, the Man with One Red Shoe. Uh, this one is about... Um, he He's a musician. He composes his own music. Um, and he gets mistaken for a spy. Uh, and so this spy group is, like, following him because they think he's a spy and stuff. Uh, and then he falls in love with this girl from the spy group. Um, and eventually, like, she falls in love with him, too. And then the spy group, once they realize they've become attached, they try to kill him and, like, get her out of the way and stuff. And it's a, it's a good movie, a funny movie. Um yeah uh again not much to write home about this is one of my one of the few of my tapes that actually has a vertical um label instead of a horizontal uh, i think i have like one other one that i've showed that has that um case decent condition not like any major rips or anything you know a couple creases uh the biggest thing is that there's some sticker residue there on the case. But aside from that, not a big deal. Also, have you guys noticed, like, this is totally weird tangent, but, um, I said this was probably gonna include some random ramblings, um, but have you noticed, like, songs you listened to, like, when you were little, like, completely change meaning when you're older? It's so, like, Hey There Delilah was like one of, I mean, that came out 13 years ago. 13 freaking years ago. I was four when that came out. Um, but that came out, and so like, it was one of those songs that like when I heard it, or like when it came on the radio, like, I was like, oh yeah, I like this song. It's fun, whatever. But now I'm, you know, 17 and listening to it, and I'm just like, holy shit, this is depressing. I have no reason to be depressed. I have no reason to like cry or be sad because my life's going really good right now. But I was listening to it earlier and in the dark, like my all of the lights in my room were shut off and everything. And I was just like about on the verge of tears. Like I was about to cry just because of how depressing a song it was. Um, yeah. Anyways, back to the VHS collection. Next, this is one of my favorites in my collection. Uh, one, because it's a classic movie. Two, because the fact that I found it in this good of condition uh, is insane and I love it. Um, Back to the Future. Uh, classic movie has has a, um, a horizontal label on the tape itself. Um, and the only major wear on this is, you know, the, the corners are, and edges are a little frayed. But, like, aside from that, it's an amazing condition. And so, again, from a, a collector's standpoint and putting this stuff on display, that's really cool for me. Um, so, uh, yeah, cool, I guess. Um... I, I need to find the other two on VHS. This is the only one I have on VHS. I need to find the other two so I have the complete set. Um, and that was like, so basically I bought, I had like three, but or I went to, um, uh, so I live in a small town and we don't have like a Goodwill or anything, but I went to a town an hour away that has a Goodwill and I went with my sister and I didn't have any money on me, but I was like, hey, can I get three, or can I get some of these tapes since they're only a dollar each? Um, or maybe they're like three for a dollar or something. And she was like, she was like, yeah, you can get three. So I got Back to the Future, Dirty Dancing, and The Man with One Red Shoe because they were classic movies. And then the next time I went to a Goodwill, this one was in the next town over, or next town further east. Um, which is a two hour drive. Uh, I went to the Goodwill and that's when I got E.T., Red Fury, Wayne's World, um, Sin Private Ryan, and Jimmy Neutron. Oh, and uh, this one, the next one, which is the first five episodes of The Andy Griffith Show. Um, my dad loves 
this show because I don't know why. It, it's a good show, and Andy Griffith is a great actor and stuff. Um, as well as Don Knotts and uh, a lot of a lot of the actors in that actors and actresses are in that show. And I, when I saw, you know, Andy, the because this was at the Sioux Falls Goodwill, the one that was two hours away, and they didn't have a great selection, and all their VHS tapes were just thrown into this bin. Um, you know, they weren't on a nice neat shelf like most Goodwills. They were just thrown into this bin. It's like I was having trouble finding good stuff. Um, and so it was one of those ones when I saw it where I was like, oh yeah, I may as well get it. Because I, I needed six tapes because it was like three for a dollar or whatever. Or like three for five bucks. So I was like, oh, I'll just get six tapes or whatever. Um, so yeah, got Andy Griffith because it was like one of the only good things I saw in there. There was also some dude who already came through who bought one of the VHS, they had like three VHS tapes and he went through and bought of, or not tapes, players. And so he went through and he bought a VHS player and then like 20 tapes. So he probably got all the good shit. Um, cause like he had like a land before time and stuff, which are like, I grew up with those movies. So they're good. Uh, next is one I'm glad I have in my collection, but wish I could have found in better condition and it's uh mischief uh some of if any of you are watching from the discord i've told some of you guys about this movie it takes place in 1956 ohio um and it's about this kid jonathan um trying to get with this girl um marilyn i think is her name maybe uh let me see I don't remember. Um, I think the name is Marilyn or something. Uh, it's a it's a great movie. But so basically, he's trying to get with this girl, and then and Jonathan is played by Doug McKeenan, and then in comes Chris Nash's character, uh, Gene. And so Gene is trying to get this girl Bunny, and then he's trying to help Jonathan get Marilyn. And um, it's it's a good movie. Uh, Gene is kind of like a greaser type kid and Jonathan's like I don't know but a good movie my friend Nathan showed it to me and like totally like my friend Nathan is Gene and I'm Jonathan like I'm trying to get a girl and Nathan who is a complete greaser is like trying to you know help me get set up with a girl and stuff or like that's how our relationship kind of used to be um but you know we're good we're good friends and stuff um good movie when when i bought this uh it was hard to find it i was like all right i've got to find it for like under like 10 bucks or whatever or like under 15 bucks and so i was having trouble finding it for like a good reasonable price this is one of my other ones with a uh vertical um label but so it there was like two options so there was there was this one, which, like, the where the tape was in really good condition, um, but the box, you can tell, is, like, all faded and stuff, and it's got this sticker residue up here and stuff, and the sticker here, so it was either pay or get this one, which had a better condition tape and worse condition box, or get the other one I had an option for, which looked like it belonged to a, um, uh, what's the word, uh, video store, um, so the box was in really good condition, but it had, like, stickers on it, and, like, super strong stickers, like, the hard plastic ones that said, like, please rewind after watching or whatever, or before returning, so I was like, I'll just, I'll just get this one, because if I want to, I can just make a new box for it, um, but I'll just probably just keep the original box and stuff for this. Um, so that's a, a 25 minute video. This is like the longest video I've made for this channel. I didn't expect that to be this long. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked and enjoyed, uh, let me know. And yeah, peace out.